What is my weekly training cycle like? What am I doing? What am I focusing on on a daily basis in training during the season and as we lead into the big competitions like world championship trials? Today, that's what we're gonna talk about. Good morning, everyone. Lily and I both kind of messed up practice time this we morning. I forgot what time practice was. I showed up at 6.13 and I was like, I'm early. But practice was supposed to start at 6.15. 6, uh, technically Not, you were still early. Technically, two minutes early, but we both were under the impression practice was at 6.30. Not our fault. In our defense. Practice starts at a different time every day. Yeah. And it didn't used to. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like literally the whole team was on deck and I was the last one to show up. That doesn't happen. Yeah. And Ray looked at me like I was crazy. We are finishing morning workout with 450s. No <laughs> breath. No breathing. You gotta make it sting. Ray likes to incorporate lots of no breath during taper time. Get a little bit of sting, a little bit of fatigue without really taxing the muscles. We do a lot of that. It's almost like tricking the body. I kind of enjoy it. You just gotta remain calm, stay relaxed. Can't trick my body. My body's too smart. <laughs> it knows what's going on. <laughs> We're gonna go on top. <sighs> nice. Every time I do no breath, I think of Tom Shields. Every time. Finishing up with some assisted cords. Gonna pull Lil across the pool. Assist me. She's gonna go so fast. Net, 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 net. Get my ugly freestyle on camera. Heck yeah, I did. All right, let's talk about this training schedule that I've been getting asked about all the time. That's what we're here for. Now that I have a slight grip on being a dad of two, I've had a lot of you all out there reaching out to me asking like what my training schedule is like this season leading into world trials and the rest of the year, all that stuff. So I figured let's talk about that. Let's break down my training cycle, my weekly focus points. So each given day, what the workout is of that day and what the focus is. Mondays are Ray Lou's style breaststroke practices. So that's best average kick, pull, swim. That's 2050s VO2 max on 130. That's kick sets where we're going eight 100s, every other all out. That's pull sets, sometimes over distance pull sets, sometimes 1225s, max. You know, there's a variety of things that we do in those workouts, and you've seen them in the vlogs before, but they're some of my favorite sets. I also lift weights on Mondays. I'm doing two lifts right now, Mondays and Thursdays. Tuesday is a conditioning day, and depending on the time of the year, that's one of two sets. That's either a threshold set or a kick set, the over distance kick sets or the sprint kick sets. The threshold workouts are things more along the lines of 2100s, short course yards, freestyle on 105, trying to hold 57 seconds. You know, more, some more distance oriented stuff. That's just, that's just conditioning the heart. That's just fitness. Not everybody loves those kinds of days and I understand why, they, they're, they're kind of tough. Nevertheless, conditioning days are important. Wednesday, Wednesday is a fun day. Wednesday is speed and power. That's heavy resisted cords, 12 and a half bursts, dive 25s, that is a sprint style day. Low volume, race pace, suiting up, it's awesome. Nothing more than a 50 fast, usually it's 25s. And then depending on the time of the season, it might be lactate, right? So two months out from a big meet, we might be doing five 100s max effort from the blocks on six minutes, that kind of stuff. Here's a set right here that I did last week two weeks out from World Championship Trials. Once again, the, the focus being race, pace, speed, and power, going from resisted swimming into maximum effort swimming with the suit on. I like, I like sets like that. Thursday is quality. Quality, long course, race pace. We only get a few long course practices a week and you gotta capitalize on that. So Thursday morning, we're suiting up, we're going 200 pace 50s. And right now, it's only a few, right? Like one week out from World Championship Trials, we might be doing four to six 50s on 50 seconds or on a minute 30 seconds, just depends on what, what the day is. You know, middle of the season, we might come in and we're going 15 50s 200 pace or 
four sets of 550s, 200 pace long course with varying intervals depending on what we're going for that week. You've seen a couple of my vlogs lately where we're doing the Arno Kaminga, Michael Andrew, no warm up style. We're coming in, we're doing 30 minutes of rigorous dry line, and then the moment we hop in the water, we're immediately hitting race pace. No pool warm up. It's been a lot of fun. It's been challenging and different, but it's been a lot of fun. Fridays are what I call mixed bag conditioning. So this is a variety of different things. It is truly a conditioning day, no brush stroke. Um, we do a little bit of pulleys, we do a little bit of underwater work, we do a little bit of aerobic swimming, a little bit of pull. Here's an example of a set that we might do. I really like these days because once again, this is just working on overall fitness, working on overall swimming mechanics that are not directly correlated to swimming breaststroke. For me, like it's not directly correlated to my race, but it's just keeping me a well-rounded swimmer, working on other skill sets and also just conditioning the body. Underwater sets, you know, sometimes we do uh, a few pulleys, butterfly or freestyle, doing a little bit of power work that is that is not breaststroke. I, I love these kinds of sets. And rounding out the week, Saturday is long course pace. Most of the time we suit up. Now middle of the season, we might do a set like this, which you guys have seen me do multiple times, a 40-50 set where 16 of those 50s are at pace. Leading into the meet, the number of 50s pace comes down. Some days we're working 200 pace repeats like that. Other days, 25s, 35 meter bursts with the suit on from the blocks, a variety of different things, but most importantly is finishing the week strong, working the important fundamentals of putting together a good race, right? trying to perfectly execute when you're tired. During the season, when it is a 40-50 set like that, you're tired because it's the end of the week and so you're just doing your very best. But as we lead into a big competition like World Championship Trials, that gets scaled down and you're trying to hit or exceed what you're shooting for on the back end of any given race. I love suit up Saturdays. So just to be clear, in terms of focusing on anything that is directly related to breaststroke and race pace stuff, I do breaststroke on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesday and Friday, I do zero breaststroke, none. I don't even take a breaststroke stroke. Don't do any of that. And then I'm in the gym on Mondays and Thursdays. I usually lift Thursday morning right after my long course pace set and on Monday afternoon before my, my breaststroke practice. That's the, that's the schedule I've got right now. Mostly because that's just what fits with me trying to schedule around working with the children, the move, all the other things, my new business, um, things that I'm setting up that you'll you'll learn about soon. Um, just got a lot got a lot going on. So that's it. So now you have a, a general idea of what I'm doing. So any any given Tuesday, you might be like, oh, I wonder what Cody's doing today. That's you know training wise, that, that, that's probably it. Please let me know in the comment section below if this was informative, enjoyable. Did you like this? All those sorts of things. What did you think? What is your training schedule like? What is your cycle? Please let me know down below. And now we're gonna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, ExpressVPN. I have been using ExpressVPN for years and years now. And with the touch of a button, right there, it's that simple, you are protected. Now did you know that the company that controls half of the online retail in all of the world also passively eavesdrops on your information? Or what about the fact that one single company controls 90% of internet searches, they run your email services, and they get to track a lot of your information on your phone? Nowadays, big tech companies are more powerful than most countries, and they make money by exploiting your information. ExpressVPN is a layer of protection between you and your information and those big tech juggernauts. When you run ExpressVPN on one of your devices like your phone or your computer, the software hides your IP address, which is something that tech companies use to identify you. ExpressVPN makes it way harder for them to trace your data and then therefore sell it to those advertisers. It also encrypts 100% of your internet data to protect you from hackers and anyone that wants to eavesdrop on your information wherever you are, at home, on a bus, in a hotel, doesn't matter. If you've got ExpressVPN turned on, you are safe. Don't let these companies make money off you. 
Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by going to expressvpn.com slash Cody or clicking the link in the description below. That's it, thank you all for watching. As always, please follow me online. We have merch on the merch store. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know, for whatever reason, I'm on Cameo. New videos every single week and until my next video, I will see you all later.